and welcome back to the channel as you can see uh, this ride is going to be a rainy one and I should tell you what our conditions are so I'm recording this on Valentine's Day afternoon at about two o'clock in the afternoon and we have a temperature of 39 and the wind is making it feel like 33 and as you can see we've got a pretty good rain coming down and I thought I'd talk today on this video about how to ride in the rain on your e-bike so the first thing I'd say is You gotta be a willing participant, one who doesn't mind riding in the rain because not everybody likes to ride in the rain. So the folks that just don't like to ride in the rain, they're just not gonna do it anyway. So uh, for those of you who don't mind riding in the rain like myself, I would suggest, first of all, I think the to me, the most important thing is to have eye protection. You need all of the things I'm going to talk about, but eye protection for sure. Um, because you can't ride with raindrops going in your eyes. There's no way you can do it. I forgot eye protection before and going to work and then coming home and having an unexpected rain or something like that and and uh, so always bring your eye protection you should wear it anyway even on non rainy days because it still protects you from other things like bugs flying in your eye or just the wind even uh, I mean that can that also can make your eyes water up and stuff so I'm, I'm not sure what this guy's doing, but anyway, uh, so that's one. So you gotta want to ride in the rain, and then you gotta protect your eyes for sure. And then, of course, you want to stay dry. So you need to have a jacket or, or coat, raincoat, or whichever. I've got a jacket that keeps me dry. Uh, it's wet on the outside, but dry on the inside, so that's all that I need. You need to have... I've got rain pants on. Those are uh, a big uh, must, I would say, too, because if anything gets wet, that's when you start to feel cold, and that's when the ra ride becomes uncomfortable. So uh, nobody wants to ride being all wet and uncomfortable. Also, you need uh, gloves. I've got gloves that are pretty good, but after a while, the rain does seep through. I haven't had come up with a pair of gloves yet that absolutely keeps me perfectly uh, dry, but it will for a pretty good stretch. And give it a little bit of juice to get up this hill. And then your feet also, you want to stay dry if you can. Uh, wear some kind of rain uh, boots or waterproof boots. And uh, So if you keep yourself dry, and also I've got a safety helmet on, I've got the x Nido helmet on to protect me, and now my x Nido helmet does not have the liner, they do come with, without the liner, but you can purchase the liner, I do not have the liner in mine. So I'm wearing a toque at the moment, but 
Uh, if you wanted that extra protection and warmth, you might want the uh, liner that goes with the helmet. And then the other thing you want to do is just take it easy and don't get too crazy. There has been times when I've ridden a bit on the fast side in the rain just because I'm in a hurry to get home a little bit. But um, just take it easy and you'll get there. And The rain doesn't bother me too much as long as I can stay dry. But the, sometimes that wind... Uh, can be an issue, you know, kind of not only knock you around a little bit, but that can make it feel cold. There's a little bit of wind right now, but I don't find it that bad. I would say the best protection would be, uh, for me, would be uh, wearing my motorcycle helmet. It's a full face helmet with a shield so you're completely protected and also it's a little warmer but the reason why I'm not wearing the helmet I've been wearing the X-Nito um, is because you guys can hear me a lot better uh, when I wear this helmet when I wear the motorcycle helmet you can't even hear me hardly so I know I, oh, I got dodged some uh, branches there and that car almost ran me over. Yeah, I can feel the wind a little more right now, actually. It might have picked up a little bit more even. Of course, when you get home from this adventurous ride, like when I get home here, I will be dripping wet with the stuff I am wearing. But to me, if you don't want to ride in the rain, especially where I am here in the Pacific Northwest, that cuts down a lot of your riding days. So if you like riding like I do, then uh, you don't want to lose any days if you can help it. You just deal with it. The one thing that you should not be going out in is if you have a thunderstorm going on. That is not good uh, with the lightning and thunder you don't want to get struck uh, something else I should mention too about riding in the rain is that make sure your bike is okay for riding in the wet conditions because I'm not sure if all bikes are but any bike I've had and ridden They've all been perfectly fine in the rain. I have yet to have an issue with anything uh, riding in the rain. One nice thing about riding the e-bike is that we can go around the speed bumps right here. Just like it is. You can hear me swishing through the rain. Now, the question is, do you ride in the rain? Would you ride under the conditions I'm in right now? 39 degrees, raining and a wind chill of 33? Or am I just playing crazy? <laughs> uh, I'm probably a little bit of that, but 
I just like the ride and I don't mind it. You just get this uh, feeling when you ride, or I do, like, kind of like a freedom feeling or something. I don't know what it is. Hard to explain, but... And if you've never ridden an electric bike, gosh darn it, you gotta try it. Because I think if you're used to riding a traditional bike, then you're gonna love the electric bike. It's like your traditional bike on steroids, I guess. You're like Superman now. You have extra powers. So if you want to leave a comment in the comments below and let me know if you ride in the rain or not. If you don't ride in the rain, you most likely are also one who does not ride in the snow. Or I don't know if you ride in the cold. There was only one time this year that I didn't want to go out. And that was, I did a video on it talking about it, but the uh, ice was so bad here that I could barely get out my door of my house uh, without slipping on the uh, ice. It was so bad you couldn't walk on it. And then uh, there's no way I could have done anything on the bike. You could have any tires and you're not going to, it's not going to work. For that that that's uh, a time to just stay home and be safe forget it oh pretty good stiff wind right now picked up wow Earlier today we had hail mixed in with the rain and it almost feels like something like that right now because when it was hitting my face, my cheeks, it felt like little needles going into my face. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for doing that. Just hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And hey, thank you for joining me on this video and supporting us. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road.